What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. Halloween H2O stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Josh Hartnett, Michelle Williams, and many others. This film ignores all the continuity of parts 4 through 6 and it actually starts 20 years after the events of the first two films. Sadly, since Donald Pleasance died shortly after the last movie was made, The Curse, he was not in this one, which makes this the first Halloween movie without Pleasant's presence. May he rest in peace. So basically, Laurie Strode, under an assumed name, is a dean of this college in California. She deals with a lot. She deals with the memories of her past, of her brother, Michael, chasing her and stuff. That's a good thing because she's much stronger, she's much wiser, and she don't take no crap from nobody. She's a strong woman in this, and that's what I loved about it. It gave her a purpose to actually be the way she is in this movie. The characters are the usual stereotype for movies like this. Hormone adult teens that just talks about sex or does it and then goes off, gets killed by the killer. It's your basic stereotype for this kind of slasher movie. Of course, all of them was like that, but the characters will always be the same in movies like this. I'm just so glad that this story ignores the last three movies because the cult thing, that was just crap. So in this one, they decided to make this one a direct sequel to the first two, like I mentioned before. And it was more straightforward. They went back to the basics, basically. Darren Okada, or, Ka, or Ka, Akata, however you pronounce his name. Sorry about that, buddy. Cinematography work was pretty good. He lit it up pretty nicely. It looked kind of like the first one. I'm going to compare this one more to the first one than any of the others. Patrick Lucier, who's on and off as a director now, his editing was pretty good in this. It wasn't all this insert shots crap that they had in the last movie, which was real relieving. Unfortunately, Alan Howarth didn't return for this one. John Ottman, who did the score for this one, was pretty good. He brought a uh, an originality to it, and in a way, it was more memorable for me. Yes, the Halloween score is still in it. That's always going to be a, a classic, iconic score to this day to any horror movie goer. But John Ottman, he brought a sort of a scream feel to it. And what I mean by that is the score in the back, if you watch Scream or any of the Scream movies, it sounds the same, kind of. So in a way, I guess you could say John Ottman was kind of stealing it from Scream. But I don't know, but it made it real good. It made it more tense. There's a lot more there, and I loved it. The, the writing and the direction was, was good. It was a lot better than the last one. Friday the 13th, parts 2 and 3's Steve Miner directed this. And I thought that was pretty good, so he's no stranger to slasher movies such as this. And like I said, they took it in a better direction. They decided to ignore, ignore everything from the previous movies, and I thought that was a little bit of a relief. It just felt like a real Halloween film. It felt more like the original than any of the others did. In the pros, like I mentioned before, they went back to the basics. They decided to start from scratch and make it basically Halloween 3, only it's just Halloween H2O. Because it's 20 years later after the events of the first two. And that's all they say about it. So it is a direct sequel to the first two. It was very legit, and you actually felt like you were watching a legit Halloween movie again. Alright, the cons. Chris Durand, who played Michael Myers in this, it wasn't convincing to me. The way he stood up, compared to how Tony Moran did in the original Halloween, it wasn't convincing. That's not how Michael sits up. And whenever he would chase after Lori or some any of the characters, his physique... It wasn't Michael Meyer-ish enough for me. Yeah, yeah, that's a word. It wasn't Michael Meyer-ish enough for me. Not to degrade the man. I'm sure he's a pretty nice guy in real life. I don't know. But they could have picked somebody better. Chris Duran's portrayal of Michael Myers, it just it wasn't convincing enough to me. My final thoughts on it, it was a it was a really decent, solid Halloween film that we definitely deserved at the time. Especially after the bad taste, mind-numbing sequel that was The Curse. I'm going to give Halloween H2O an A-. minus. 
This one came as close to the original movie than any of the others did. And I'm so glad that the studio finally got their heads back together again to where they knew how to do a Halloween movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. See, tell me what you thought of Halloween H2O. Like, subscribe, get reputized. And stay tuned for my review of Halloween Resurrection coming soon. Peace to Rip Out.